Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Today we're going to do a makeup unboxing featuring two different subscriptions that are indie subscriptions for makeup products. So today we're going to be unboxing the Medusa's makeup box for August 2023 as well as the Chic Beauty box. This is an every other month subscription service and it's supposed to have a high retail value. Whereas this one is all vegan. This one has products from all different brands. Usually this one has a lot of things from their own brand. So we're going to compare these two today. I'm going to show you what's inside. We'll talk about which one's my favorite and all that good jazz. So before we get into it, if you guys are into anything kind of spooky and cute, you can check out my Etsy link down below. And now let's dive right on to subscriptions. I guess we'll start off with the Chic Beauty Box first. I don't know why. We only have two to choose from, so I'm just going to pick one. You also may be wondering, Bridget, why are you sitting on the floor and not in your normal space? Well, I was going to film in my sunroom office, but it's way too hot as it is 100 degrees today. And then I was going to film in my normal, like, um, so this is like my background. You can see it from my kitchen. However, there's a cat in my bar stool and I refuse to move a cat just so I can film a little YouTube video because his comfort is very important to me. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're sitting on the floor today. So yeah, anyways, this is the Chic Beauty Box. And it does tell me the retail price of everything, which is great. So I will let you know the retail price of these things as we get to them. And I do appreciate everything being protected, both the bubble wrap and a little bit of paper. I think the paper is probably more for aesthetics, but I appreciate protection of products because I'm tired of getting broken products, you know? But let's start off here. I see something from Give Me La La. Give them La La Beauty which we just had a mini give me law give them la la beauty product in our ipsy this month so if you missed that video i'll link it down below for you but we have a give them a la la beauty hydro gloss in the shade la la here so it looks like this honestly i am not a fan of this brand i swatched we had this in the aia beauty box a while while back right when this brand first came out and everything I swatched felt really sticky. I wasn't really a fan of it. Maybe it's good for some people, but it wasn't for me. So I'm not excited to see this brand. The packaging feels very cheap and stuff. That's not on Chic Beauty Box. It's just the brand that I just don't feel like vibes with me very well. Um, but this is the first thing in here, which is a gloss, full-size product. And this retails for $16.00. Next up in here, we have something from Ofra. So this is going to be their HD Volumizing Mascara in Black. Full-size product. This retails for $26. Okay, I've tried this mascara, you guys. It's a fine mascara. But, like, no mascara is a $26 mascara. I think they expect you to use, like, a discount code. You can use my discount code on Ofra if you want to. Or not. I don't care either way. It's cool. Um, so I think they expect you to use a discount code because who is going to pay $26 for a mascara? It's just, it's so much money. So this is the mascara. I think the packaging on it is really cute. I do like the mascara. It's really good for length. Not as much for volume. I think it's really good for giving you length. Especially if you don't want your lashes really, really thick. It is more of a thinner formula. So if you like a thin, long lash, I feel like it'll work for you. But again, high retail value, but $26. And again, in a subscription box, we're not paying that retail price. So I'm okay with that. Next up, we have something in here. So let's see. This is from Laura Geller, New York. So let's see what we got. Oh, it's a little highlighter duo. These are very golden. So here's the little highlighter duo up close for you. Um, really pretty colors. I will say they're kind of similar tones. They're both gold notes. This one's a little more champagne. This one's a little more pure gold. Let me see what this retail cost is. <laughs> Laura Geller High Def Glow Illuminator, Illuminator Duo. $42. Laura Geller. Ma'am, Miss Laura. I don't know you. That's an insane price tag, especially for something that doesn't feel luxurious. Crazy. This is, was not meant, this was just supposed to be like a fun unboxing video, not me bleh, all over high retail prices of things. Maybe it's just where my head is at today. Oh, next up though, speaking of high retail value, something from NARS. I am not someone who's tried a lot of NARS things. I think I've tried the little mini orgasm blush that we had 
as a birthday gift at Sephora years and years ago. And I think a liquid lipstick we got in the description box. But other than that, I don't think I've ever tried anything else NARS that I can recall. So this is the NARS Extreme Effects Eyeshadow Palette. I have no idea if their eyeshadows are any good. But let's see how the color scheme is. Because... I'm curious. This packaging is fun. This packaging is fun. Look at the, like, like, there's like little, it's like little ridges. Ridges in here. That's, I, I like that. That's cute. And then, how do I open it? Oh, <gasps> it's broken. It's broke. Okay, so this is my black eyeshadow on top here. I'm trying to show it to you without making a, here, let me just take the eyeshadow. Ooh, oh. Okay, I'm putting it back in its spot. Okay. Here's the, ah! Here's the eyeshadow palette itself. The color scheme is really cute. I think the color scheme is really pretty. I'm just concerned that I'm gonna drop the black shadow because it's broken and falling apart. However, I do like the purpley muted tones because they're not super in your face purple. This little bit of gold and the neutrals look nice. The shimmers look gorgeous. I will say the shimmers in here are, I can't even show you properly. The shimmers in here look stunningly beautiful and metallic and reflective. But it's broken. This will need to be repaired. So let's talk about the retail value of this. It retails for $59. I knew it was going to be expensive. I know NARS is expensive. But I'm going to have to repair it before I try it. Because those colors are pretty. I probably would wear those colors. But what would, since the black appears to be a shimmer, I don't really know what I'd pair that with in the palette, to be honest. But regardless, that's okay. So it looks like we have one last thing in the subscription. It looks to be a lip product. So this is from Mud Masky. We've had this in other subscriptions before. This is the Glam, Cl Glam Care Glowy Illuminating, Illuminating Blush Drops. <laughs> um, so this is the color Pink Martini. It's just some little blush glowy drops it looks like a lip product but it's it's not so this retails for 28 dollars 28 dollars okay so yeah so looking at the card though because there's other options you could get there's some really cool options in here like fenty soft matte foundation that'd be really cool um there's some other things in here that i kind of like Eh, about like the Rimmel London shadow. I don't care about Rimmel London. Elizabeth Arden, I don't really care about her. Jordana, I'm not familiar with that brand. And NYX is fun. Um, but there's also another uh, NARS eyeshadow duo in here. There's like another option. So the options from this subscription are fun. I do like the options. I feel like we're getting good brands. Like we have Ofra and NARS in here. Like I'm into that. And then Mud Mask, and it was kind of a high-end brand too. So I like the options. Not into the give, me la give them Lala thing. I wouldn't be interested in... Rimmel London but the options are in here that like have good brands and they're actually makeup products not all skincare products or hair products things like that I appreciate the fact that it's actually makeup so let's go everything we got in the chic beauty box for August 2023 so we have the mud masky blush duo we have a NARS eyeshadow palette which I'm going to put down safely so it doesn't break anymore we have a little Laura Geller illuminator you know, bronzy, glowy, golden highlighter duo. We have a full-size mascara from Ofra, as well as they give them Lala full-sized lip gloss. So I almost forgot the word lip gloss right then. So overall, I feel like we did get a good value in here, especially with the NARS eyeshadow palette being very expensive and the highlighters being very expensive. I mean, honestly, they're all high-end products in here. So it's pretty good. I don't have anything bad to say about it other than I wish my palette wasn't broken, but these things happen. And sometimes I see on my ring alarm that the postman just be <laughs> dropping packages. So, you know, they shouldn't be doing that, but you know, it is what it is. So anyways, let's move on now to the Medusa's makeup box for August, 2023. Maybe I should call this the Medusa's makeup bag because it comes in a bag, but it doesn't feel right. So I'm going to keep saying box. So let's see what we got in here. So first we have a little bubble pouch thing. We had one of these last time as well. The other one had pink heart bubble wrap. This one has clear round like normal. Let's see what is inside of here though. So this says Ch cheek chiffron. So this is from trifle cosmetics. It is a blush and highlighter. Let's see. It looks like a little duo from what's on the back. 100% cruelty-free, vegan, no gluten, no parabens, no phthalates. Okay, so this is the little duo itself. Very cute. 
small, easy to travel with, compact. I like the peachy pink and the champagne highlighter. I feel like it looks at a lot of different skin tones. So this is the first thing in here, very precious. And then we have the card for this month. This is happy birthday, celebrating seven years of the beauty box here for Medusa's makeup. So happy birthday, Medusa's makeup. And then it gives us a little bit of info about what's inside of here. Um, I do not see, let me see. I do not see the item I just, this little duo on this list. So I'm going to keep that in mind that it's not part of the value. But let's actually get into what's in the main chunk of our products today. So firstly, I see a brush. So I'm going to pull the brush out. This is a little unicorn brush here. It looks like a high, like a fat highlighter, maybe a little, like a temple kind of brush for face. And then a glittery uh, thing at the bottom, like a glittery handle. Why did I call it a thing? Glittery handle at the bottom. This retails for $10. It says it is a unicorn brush blush brush. Unicorn blush brush. So this retails for $10. Also, I wanted to see what was in here. So this says that I can share the code birthday20 with you and to give them 20% off their first box. And new subscribers will also receive a clear makeup bag and a bonus product. So that's what I just unbagged was the clear bag and the little bonus product so you can use you can get that along with code of birthday 20 for an extra 20 percent off your first one you know just an option for you if you want to do so it's not an affiliate thing so i don't get money from it but you could save money so why not so next up in here we have a like, full size like look like a baked eyeshadow oh so it is a baked eyeshadow it says it's a baked eyeshadow in the shade surf from their own brand medusa's makeup this retails for $14. All right, so here's what the eyeshadow looks like up close. It's a really pretty baked blue color. It looks pretty. I do like the full size of it. Let's go ahead and give it a swatch for you so we can actually see like, oh, very shimmery. Just a little finger swatch here. Really pretty color. I like it. It's very mermaidy, kind of a turquoise blue but it's swatched nicely and I like the shimmery effect of the baked eyeshadow. So this was the next thing in here. Diving into our little pack again, we have something here. Oh, this is the birthday cake bath salts. I believe I got one of these last year when they did the birthday thing, possibly. So it's glitter scented bath salts right here. I know it's picked up very bright on camera because it's a white pouch, but it says the retail price of this item is $10. I feel like that's a lot for this small pack of bath salts. I feel like $10 is a lot. However, you can, I mean, other than the fact that it's really right on, white on camera, you can see there is a glittery reflex in this bath salt package. Next up, it says, you need me, pretty personal wipe. So from LA Fresh. So, oh, it's uh, for down below. I thought it was like a makeup wipe. It's not, it's like a, a private area, <laughs> uh, personal. It's a very personal uh, wipe, but you can gently wipe um, desired areas to clean. You can use the, use, throw the wipe in the trash can or you can flush it. So it's flushable, but it's a little white. This retails for $2, which I don't think is terrible. I feel like you could throw this in your purse and just in case you want to feel extra clean when you're out and about, you know, cause you're not in the safety of your own home. You could just, you know, clean yourself that way. You could also use it at home too, but I feel like if you're going to use wipes like that, you'd probably have a pack at your house. Next up in here, we have a Disco Queen Extreme Sparkle Lip Gloss from Medusa's Makeup. This retails for $14. This is in the shade Night Fever, which is just a champagne-y pinky color. Really cute. I actually think I know someone who would love this color since I don't really wear lip gloss myself, but it is a really pretty pinky champagne-y. If you've seen the Barbie movie, if you're one of those people who wanted to go see the Barbie movie, that may be a color for you. So next up, we have a birthday cake. Uh, lip balm from Buddhist's makeup as well. Okay, so I need a new lip balm, but I'm wearing lipstick, so I can't try it on. It smells, it smells sweet, but it's not like overwhelming. Like when you think birthday cake, you're like, oh, that's gonna be a really, um, a lot. That's like a, like a lot of a smell. It's not, which I prefer, honestly, so it doesn't overwhelm me. This retails for $8. Honestly, who doesn't need a new lip balm? I feel like we all go through lip balms a lot, probably. I know I do, because my skin is very sensitive. I feel like I need to make sure I'm always moisturized, you know? Lastly, we have something here, which is the biggest thing in here. It is Medusa's Makeup Cheeky Blush. This is in the shade Sugar Cookie. So let's see this blush shade. 
This retails for $14. Honestly, pretty good price, especially for being an indie brand. Like, I feel like that's not a bad blush price. This is the compact. Very cute. Love that it's a heart. A couple other brands do heart compacts too, but I never get tired of it. And then this has a cute indentation in the pan itself that says love. It's a little heart inside of a heart. So this is the color. It's a very light peachy, peachy pink, which if you're someone like me who doesn't wear a lot of blush, this kind of color will just work with anything. You could just do it very subtly if you wanted to. So this is the last thing in here. Let's go over everything we got in the Medusa's makeup box for August 2023. And again, happy birthday, Medusa's makeup. Remember, we did get a bag and a little bonus item. I'm not going to include that because it didn't come with the regular subscription. So we have a little mini glitter bath salts, a full-size Disco Queen lip gloss, a full-size blush brush with the little unicorn handle, a full-size baked eyeshadow in this really pretty turquoisey blue color, a birthday cake lip balm, which, you know, always convenient to have on hand, as well as a pink sugar cookie heart blush so overall really good month for medusa's makeup i do think the high retail value on the bath salts is a little much just for how much you get but it's fun and the subscription box is really affordable especially since you're getting a smaller brand who makes their own products every month and they're all vegan and cruelty free too in case you're wondering so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video let me know your favorite down below honestly i think i may be leaning towards the chic beauty box just because we get did get a full-size nars eyeshadow palette However, things in the Medusa's makeup box were very practical as well. So let me know what you think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later and follow me on TikTok. Your girls are posting a lot of TikToks. Follow me on TikTok. <laughs>